The essential ingredient of an arts district is energy, and there's energy here. The vibe is full of energy. There's artists, uh, and then there's businesses. And when you combine the two, I think you have something really, really special. When we moved here, down here in 2000, it was dead. Nobody wanted to come to this part of town. And now, you tell people that you're in the arts district, go, wow, what, I, tell us about that, we want to be involved. Every day, every week, you hear of a new business looking for, for how to get in here or, or is opening up already. Being in the art district, just the, the feel and enjoyment of being part of uh, helping grow this thing like from the, from the beginning is really, really something cool. Here in this area, we saw uh, available buildings that fit um, a more uh, sort of manufacturing business than the other places had. And our style has always been a little rough around the edges, so it was more befitting that for us to be located here. My business is located here because this is where I love to be. You know, I can get on my bike and ride down to the oceanfront really quickly uh, and go surf or, you know, I just, there's something special about being down here. People who are at the top of their game artistically would love to live in a, a vibrant, creative uh, community as well as live within three blocks of the ocean to enjoy all of the things that bring people to the ocean. What there is here now is energy. The Vibe District began with a few individuals, both artists and business owners, who saw the need to revitalize a slightly rundown area of the city. Their goals were to bring in new business, to attract young artists and creative business that would create a sense of community within the Central Beach District. All those types of neighborhoods and, and successful districts have things like farmers markets and arts and culture districts. The farmers market was really where we got our name out locally and has funded our goals as a business. We've got people that are using their artistic skills to put together uh, amazing meals like over at Esoteric and Commune and you know the hearth stockpot. These people are, are able to put together stuff that there's no way that I could ever do. What we want to see is, is people, artisans, restaurateurs, great small concepts coming into these buildings and, and giving them um, a new life. Music production, graphic design, um, artists, art galleries, all the way to culinary arts. We have a vodka distillery. It's really those artisans that are making handcrafted work and selling it. And it's, I think it's a unique experience. I definitely find it inspiring being around uh, other artists. You know, there's uh, three other people in here, and, and you know, we all bring uh, we all bring a bunch of different business in here, and you know, a lot of times that business will transfer on to another person. Whether it's a a job that one of us are doing that another one has to paint something on. We all support one another, uh, whether it's just social media or we're actually buying from one another and um, you know supporting our business like financially is has been huge I, I mean you, we feel like we almost have a second family the way that this thing just fell into place was pretty perfect so I think that's a small example of what's to come in the future for the city right here and for the arts district The Vibe Arts District is very different from most that I'm aware of. Most that I'm aware of are in established urban centers. What we have is excitement. We have the desire to share with the community. We have a sense of community. 